I caught me a big body bands. We touching paper for real niggas rapping pretend. Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. Um, thank you so much for coming back. I know things have been so crazy, so sporadic, and I've really only been getting like one video up a week, and it's really just been a vlog video. But um, just a lot has gone on. Should I turn this just a tinge? Don't worry about the background. I'm sitting in like where my office space is, um, and my dining room table is behind me. So it is what it is. This is my life. I can't apologize for it. But thank you guys for coming back. Um, like I was saying so much has gone on um i bought a new car in the end at the end of july so like july 31st august 1st whatever you want to call it and literally not even a month later my car was stolen and um that was a whole annoyance for about a month and i've just been back and forth um to the dealership just to make sure keys are changed out and all that stuff and finally i feel like things are kind of getting back into like a lull and it's only about to ramp up again because we're right in front of um, holiday time so things have just been so crazy and I'm not one to put on my business on front street I understand we're on YouTube but if, as things happen in the moment my first instinct is never to get on social media and blast my problems because it's not anybody else's problems but my own um, so David and I really have just been dealing with that. I'm like my freaking brand new car. Like I freaking love that thing. But we got it all sorted out. Um, we wanted to press charges and all that stuff. So yeah. So anywho, um, I know it's been a while. I'm going I'm trying my best to figure out a really good schedule for myself. Like you guys know, it's just David and I um, here. And for me to have like a normal recording schedule is really hard because David still works in retail. He's um, a high up manager and you know all this stuff. So his job is really demanding, and my job is really demanding as well. But I also work from home, so it's a little hard. Um, days that I do have time to record, I can't really record because I have Denver by myself, and I don't have like help but I did want to jump on here and let you guys know that I'm here I'm just doing videos a little more sporadic than I would like to but I wanted to go over some of my favorites these are favorites that I've been really loving for the past little bit I know I have kind of fell off of doing favorites as well only because I haven't been really buying much this has really been like I would say last year and this year has really been a year of no buy I felt like my makeup collection was getting bigger than I am. It's it, it, it just doesn't make any sense. I'm not um, right now a practicing makeup artist, so to to have an abundance of product just sitting there, you know, going bad, it didn't make any sense. So um, that's one of the reasons why I haven't really done too many favorites videos this year. I can jump in and tell you what I have been loving. I've been using my stash. I mean, I also said going forwards, I feel like I'm only going to be buying since I am vegan and everything else in my life is vegan. I'm going to be really looking for products that are cruelty free and vegan. I am cruelty free on this channel. If you guys don't know, hi, welcome to my channel. My name is Cheryl. I do cruelty free. Uh, cruelty free and vegan lifestyle videos here on YouTube and um, I want to stick true to what I'm saying so everything in my lifestyle everything in my life pretty much is vegan except some of the things that I purchased a long time ago that are, are not vegan products so um, some of these things that I am recommending everything that I have here that I'm recommending is cruelty free and a couple items are just not vegan unfortunately it probably has like um, a beeswax or maybe like a lanolin or something in it but once I get rid of these products, um, the only things that I will be p purchasing coming up in the future are only going to be strictly vegan and cruelty free, like I said. Um, so, and if I mess up here and there, I'm human just like everybody else. If you see something um, and I don't know, and I'm thinking it's vegan, vegan let me know. But I, I am doing my best to read through all of the ingredients. Uh-oh. But um, yeah, so some drops have happened in the past in the past couple of months with beauty, and I'm like, okay, this is what I'm saving my money for. This is what I'm saving my money for because I really have, like I said, been really good about not buying things, um, just things I know I don't have time to get to, or it's just gonna go bad before I do get to it and all that stuff. So um, I really wanted to support Carly Bible in her Il Maquillage um, collab that she did, but unfortunately, they are cruelty free. They're just not vegan. And then the same thing with Anastasia uh, Beverly. Hills I thought she was gonna do a vegan palette with them and it's just a cruelty free palette which is great and that's great for the cruelty free community but also like I said with myself going forward I really just want to concentrate on doing vegan beauty um, I'm not sure if there are many other girls here on YouTube that are strictly cruelty free and vegan um, 
and I hope that doesn't deter anybody from my message. I'm just here to plant the seed and whatever works in your life works and jives. But um, we'll see. I know the one palette that I do want to get is the Kat Von D, the Lolita revamped one. <gasps> it looks so good. It looks so good. And I'm like, well, while I'm at it, maybe I should get two. Because in my collection, I don't have anything that looks like that. But anywho, let me just jump right into it. Um, like I said lately, my life has been super crazy. This is a non-beauty favorite. Um, but one thing that's helping me to like zen out and calm down and really think and use my good brain is reading um, this past month I was actually able to read two books and um, one was about mantras because I'm learning more about shockers and mantras and all that stuff um, one was on that and it was actually really good I can't remember the name now I just returned it back to the library if you guys don't know I go to the library I actually like the library it actually ends up saving me a lot of money instead of purchasing all these books and you read them and they just sit I rather just rent it from the library and then return it when I'm done so so, um, I could pop up the name I can't remember right now it was like something easy mantras I don't know but it was actually a really good read a really easy read and then another one about um, just trying to get back to your best self that's what I feel like I'm on the mission towards um, and I keep saying my next birthday is my my 33rd birthday crazy and I, I keep saying it's my Jesus year and then when I also think about it 2020 is um, 2020 vision is like you're in focus right so I'm like oh it's my Jesus year and it's my focus year so before we even get into that because we have two year two months to the end of the year and we have about four months to my birthday I'm trying to start that habit now of getting myself into the habit of reading and thinking like I said with my good brain and thinking for myself and thinking outside of the box and questioning things I've always been always have been somebody that questions but like I need to question with the correct questions and the correct merit behind it you know so I just been reading a lot um, a book that I'm actually intrigued with right now is called the China study and it's um, start uh, starting startling implications for diet weight loss and long-term health so this is something that I'm interested in as well I went to the library like I said and um, I just picked this up what yesterday or the day before I just started reading it yesterday that's what it was I'm already on page like 21 so and it's a thick read so I think this should take me about a month to read um, with the amount of time that I do have and I'll let you guys know how that goes if you're interested um, but I just love reading if you guys are readers like me uh, recommend some books down below I also listen to a lot of podcasts as well um, friend zone is one of the podcasts I was actually recommended by a lot of you and one person that stands out because um, she kept reiterating she was like you'll love her you'll love her you'll love her you'll love them it's don't die afraid Ashley I don't know if you're still on this channel and watch but um, thank you guys so much for those I've, I've been listening to them for what the past well since I moved here so the past about three years um, and I really just love podcasts they're great because I'm in the car a lot I um, commute to LA pretty often and some days that ride can be an hour and some days it can be three hours so at least I have something going on um, I listen let me let me put my podcast list because I actually listen to a lot of them oh uh, approachable by um, S Samantha Ravendell and her friend Al Alyssa um, I listen to that a lot um, it's actually a really good Oh, there we go. It's a really good podcast, especially if you're a creator, um, because Sam is a creator. Uh, I just like to hear and listen to other people's point of views as to where this YouTube space go is going, where this social media content space is going, where it's heading. Um, I don't know. I just really like it. If you guys don't know, I've been on YouTube for... I believe a total of like six years and I would say if I really were to count the amount of time that I've been really really super consistent it's been about four years consistent I feel like every time I got really good and get in, got into the groove of, of, of uploading and recording and uploading and editing and record upload um, something would happen like my sister got really sick and I couldn't record and then my mom passed away and then I couldn't record and then I was pregnant and like on my deathbed with IVs and couldn't record so with every setback I feel like I want a major comeback but sometimes getting to that major comeback it's like you know but um yeah so those are the podcasts oh wait let me tell you the, what is that oh my pumpkins we're gonna cut our pumpkin I'm like what is that in the corner we're gonna cut our pumpkins today 
today or tomorrow. Uh, my sister, my twin, is getting baptized tomorrow, so I'm not exactly sure. She went back for another round of like getting to know the Lord, and I'm really proud of her. I think that's a really great step. I was baptized back in 2011. Um, I did that right before I got married, so. And I feel like I still have a good connection and all that stuff. So um, she just went through the baptismal course, and I'm really, I'm really proud of her. But okay, so the uh, the podcast that I okay, so I just subscribed to the Dave Ramsey show. I heard some good things about him. Um, the TED Radio Hour. Every once in a while, I'll click on that one. The Product Boss podcast. I listen to that one a lot. Boss Mom podcast. Uh, YouTube Power Hour by Erica Vieira. I've been listening to her for years now. Um, and I've met her a couple times. Um, I have the Life, Life Coach Radio Networks. Subscribe to Game Changers. I don't know how that one is. Approachable, like I said. The Friend Zone. The Influencer Podcast. Gold Digger. Oprah's Super Soul Conversations. Um, so I have a bunch of them. If you got a uh, love line with Amber Rose, I don't know if she records them still, but I really liked her show. It was really interesting to me. Um, and that's about it. If you guys have anything else that you want to add and let me know, that'd be great. I'm, I'm always willing to learn and hear about new things. Um, but let me jump. Oh, my legs are falling asleep. I should have sat in my chair, <laughs> but that's okay. So I'm going to jump right in. It's not too many products. I'm just going to go through them really fast for you guys. Like I said, with the no buy, I really am trying to hit pan on a lot of things. And I'm also doing one palette a month. Um, I'm doing one main palette. And then if I have like, you know, different colors of my singles, that's what I'm trying to get through as well. Um, cause I know a lot of the shelf lives are short on these things, but it is what it is. So this is, um, a really good palette it's not vegan it is cruelty free it comes from a cruelty free brand um actually i should check to see on their website if they've reformulated because i know a lot of companies um that are cruelty free are reformulating things to be vegan as well but this is a palette that i really truly love i use this all the time this is something that i use for um you know, an eyes graduation, and I just feel like I'm never gonna hit pan. But this is something that is really good to have in your collection. If I can find a vegan version, I will let you guys know as well. But this is the BH Studio Pro, the ultimate neutral uh, eyeshadow palette, and it comes with a little plastic insert. If you guys don't record videos and don't really care, you don't need it. But um, it just it just tells you what everything is. So that in this palette it has metallics, creamy mattes, and soft shimmers. And I really love this palette. You can make so many looks out of this. These three here, these three um, rows, these are all shimmers and metallics. And then the last three rows are all matte. And I really like this. This is something that is like pretty much a staple. Um, and like I said, I've been using it for the past month. We're almost out of the, the month. So I'm going to switch over to a new palette. But this is something that I really love. I feel like maybe I'll use this as my... Maybe I'll use this as your constant for the month, and then you also in, in, incorporate another palette. I'll see how it goes. But this is something I really like. It's really affordable. BH Cosmetics always has different sales going on. Um, I definitely purchased that on a sale. Uh, if we're going to continue to talk about makeup, these are the three foundations that I really have been loving. I'm really trying to like use up my foundations. Um, like you guys can see... One is a little darker, one is a little, little lighter. With Pacifica, I really tried really hard to get the correct shadow color. I mean, the shadow. The correct um, foundation color, and I really struggled. I don't know why. I, I really don't know why. I want to say I went through like two or three, and I was like, uh, whatever. This is the one that I'm going to use, and I'll just manipulate it with other things. But this is the color... 11 NT from Pacifica Beauty and I really like this foundation a little goes a long way um yeah a little goes a long way and I prefer to use a brush to apply and then a beauty blender to really pounce it into the skin but a little goes a long way so now with me when I have to manipulate this to be a little darker because this is a little light for my skin it kind of if I just use this on its own it kind of looks like a mask so I like to, to um mix in a foundation so i'll either use the kat von d lock it in 65 warm this is a full coverage foundation so a little goes a long way as well and then i can also use the milani 11 amber this one's darker so you know a little bit of pump of that a little pump of this mix them together you know foundation brush and then stipple it in with a beauty blender and everything works really well i'm really trying to get through these um i doubt that i'll get through them before the end of the year but i want to use these up um 
instead of buying new foundation. So those are the three that I've been loving um, for... Oh, this is something that I actually did buy this year and I saw it on sale. I purchased this for $11 and I believe they're normally like $30. This is the Anastasia Beverly Hills um, Powder Bronzer in the color Mahogany. This is actually a vegan product. So that's one of the reasons why I purchased it. Um, Anastasia Beverly Hills is a cruelty-free company as well. So this is vegan. I really, really like that. Ooh, I really, really like that color there. And it's really just perfect. I used a bit of this as well. I mixed in another color, um, but I like this on days that I'm just doing foundation brows mascara I'll use this to like um, pull my my coloring back into the skin after the foundation uh, something else that I really like is the Kat Von D the metal crush this is a 10th 10 year anniversary um, extreme highlighter in the color gold school and this one is a vegan product as well and I really like this color because you can layer it over other things and it kind of manipulates into something else so here it's like a nice icy gold but then if I put it over a black it looks different if I put it over a blue it looks different purple anything if I do it in a quarter highlight and I just have a little bit of brown in my eye it looks different so I really like this I feel like I've been using this a whole bunch Ooh, I just love it. I really love this. I don't know. I mean, when I was watching videos, it was really mixed feeling about it, but I, I personally love it. And I believe it's on sale right now. I know she's having like a, a blowout sale on the site, but um, yeah, I really like this. Kat Von D, can't go wrong. Uh, cruelty free and vegan as well. And then for lashes, I've been loving these. These are called, these are um, from Car Beauty. They're the 702 lashes in black. Um, can you see it like that? Yeah, you can see it like that. They're kind of spiky. I really like them. They're 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 spiky and like sectioned off spiky, but with your natural lash underneath, it it just it's just so pretty. It's just so pretty. So I purchased my lashes. Oh, there. Maybe you can see it better like that. I purchased my lashes from um, uh, Shop Miss A. But there you go. You can see it. Can you see it? I know that white background is kind of messing it, but you see what I'm talking about? How it's like spiky, and it's like a little sparse, and then more spiky, sparse. So these I really like. Um, I also like the Alexis Lash from Shop Miss A. The Alexis Lash is really, um, really, I just really love it. I. I'll pop up a picture so you guys can see what I'm talking about. It's really wispy but long and instead of it just being like wispy like how these are it's they like wisp like this so it's like every lash is double i don't know it's just such a pretty lash um but i highly recommend those it's only a dollar you really can't go wrong with those lashes and the last thing that i really have been loving i, I mean i really could talk for forever because i haven't done a video in so long but um are these these are essential oils if you guys don't know i am an essential oil, oil like connoisseur i just freaking love essential oils i live by them swear by them like they were the first medicine of all time but um the ones that i just recently picked up these are all from now uh, essential oils i or now foods i get these from iherb when i do my orders and every time i do an order from iherb i kind of try to pick up um a new essential oil just to put into my rotation of oils yes oils do go bad but i use them often enough that they haven't yet so um, this is the frankincense this one is a 20% oil blend the regular one is actually quite expensive if you're just trying to get pure frankincense so I just decided to use this and see how I like it this I'll put in my oil diffuser along with the myrrh so you have frankincense and myrrh um, this is also the 20% oil blend and I'll put this in my little, little diffuser this smells so good you can also um, put it Oh, rose that rose is so good you can also put it in like lotions and stuff but for now I'm putting it in my oil diffuser I also purchased this I purchased this a, a while ago why is it leaking um I think I might have put the oh I didn't put the cap on correctly geez Louise this is the rose absolute this is a five percent oil blend and I love the scent of rose I know people some people think it's like an old lady scent but from what I heard after you hit 30 your scents start to change and rose is one that you actually start to appreciate so maybe that is it and rose is the highest vibration on the the vibrant scale 
I'll have to leave something up up here as well. That's what I um heard from the friend zone actually, and I just I just really love it. I really really love it. Like rose, oh, it smells so good. And this is one that I'm burning right now. This is the lemon and eucalyptus eucalyptus blend, and this is, these are all all these oils are from Now Essential Oils. I love it. Um, I like now. I also use um plant therapy. I can leave a little thing here so you guys know what I'm talking about them and her. I can't think of any other brands that I I should have brought my box, but um, I heard Young and Living Young and Living is that what it is? They're really good. Duterra's I guess really good. A lot of people swear by them, but these are the ones that I have. These are the ones that are affordable for me and that I get from iHerb. And I just really like iHerb. One of you guys told me about iHerb, and since then I have not turned back, but. Anywho, before this gets any longer, hopefully all is well with you guys. I am starting to try to get into the groove of things. David really said he's going to help me. I told him, listen, we really have to crack down. If we're going to make our dreams come true, we have to crack down and really get back into the groove of things. As I see everybody else doing exactly what they want to do with their lives, I'm sitting here like, hey. <laughs> so um, we're going to do our best here, like I said. <sighs> but hopefully all is well with you and um, I will see you guys in the next one. Please remember to be blessed, well dressed and not stressed and I'll see you there. This is Bye. not a perfect example. Come baby, come on this side. I try my best. Come on. Say hello. Hi. <laughs> Say hi. <laughs> hi. Put your dirty face. He's about to go take a shower. You're such a big boy now. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Hi. Say hi and blow a kiss. Hi. Okay. Can I have a kiss? Oh, Daddy's calling you. Give me a kiss. Bye bye. Okay. Go take a bath. <laughs> go take a bath. Okay. No, baby. No, 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 no. Hi. Mommy has to do some work. Hi. Cause my friends are upset with me. Because I have an envelope. I know. I'm upset with myself. I have to wait until my rings are about to get clean.